Hey guys, how you going? My name is Dom and in this video we're going to explore the get computed style method part of JavaScript. Okay, so essentially uh, this one allows you to um, get the computed CSS values for a particular HTML element. Okay, so um, it can be used for various different uh, situations but I think typically a good reason to use this is when you are um, generating your layouts through JavaScript. You might need to know a particular width or particular color of an element and then from there you can work on a different element's CSS. So that's just one case of using this but of course there's going to be various different reasons why you might want to use this get computed style method. Alright, so um, let's hop inside the text editor and take a look um, we'll start building um, some HTML to actually work with. So I'm going to make a new div down here uh, with an ID of box. Okay, and inside here I'm going to put a span tag with an ID of text. And inside here I'm going to say here is some sample text and uh, subscribe to decode, of course. All right, so we have this right here. I'm going to save this and refresh the browser. Of course, we get this result right here. So, we're going to go ahead and add some CSS to um, these two uh, elements and then from there we're going to call the get computed style method and uh, you know give it these two elements and we can see what the result looks like. Alright, so back inside here, um, let's head inside the CSS and work on um, the ID of box and we can give it a background of a medium grey. Alright. We can give it a padding of 20 pixels, a color of white, a font size of 20 pixels, and a width of uh, 300 pixels. Okay, um, so we can then move on to the text. So we can say ash text and say font weight as bold and font size of 1 em. Okay, so essentially this 1EM just means that it's going to be 100% uh, of the current font size. And as this text is inside this box, and the box font size is 20 pixels, 100% of 20 is of course 20 pixels. Okay, so I'm going to save this and refresh the browser. And we have this right here. Okay, so just real quick. If you head inside the Chrome Developer Tools and go over to the Elements section, then you can click on the uh, the uh, the box, for example. Then click on the Computed tab down here, and this is basically all this stuff right here is essentially what the JavaScript method get computed style is going to return you. Okay, so. Um, uh, the computed values and the reason why I'm saying computed is because those are the values that the browser interprets and actually uses so um, it's sort of like if you say that a box is 100% width that 100% needs to be converted to an actual pixel value and the pixel value is the computed value so this means um, and I'll show you in a minute, but this means once you call this method, the values you get are going to be computed values and not straight from your style sheet. Okay, so let's just go inside the um, inside the uh, text editor and go down to the bottom here in the JavaScript. Let's just first get a reference to both the box and also the text. So we can say const box equal to document dot get element by ID. I'm going to pass box into here and also make another one for text. All right, cool. So now we have both the box and the text uh, elements inside JavaScript. We can now call the get computed style method um, on the box. So let's make a new constant. This will be called box CS, short for box computed style. And we all computed styles, and this will be equal to window dot get computed style, and here we pass in the element. So we're going to pass box into here. Then from there we can simply console dot log box cs. Okay, so I can now save this, and I can refresh the browser. We can check the console, and we get all of this stuff. 
Okay, so we can expand this and there's quite a bit in here, but um, if we scroll down, we can start to see all these computed values that the browser interprets down here. This includes uh, CSS properties that you don't actually declare in your style sheet. Okay, so you can see here that everything sort of gets converted to camel case. So for example, border top style is going to be border dash top dash style in, in our CSS, but uh, those dashes get converted to uh, capital letters in this uh, this representation. So let's go ahead and actually uh, get the background um, computed value. So to do this, we're going to say box CS dot and then background. You know what? Let's just say background and see what we get. If I can save this and refresh, and we get here all of these background values. Now, of course, I've actually set a background color. So let's go back inside here and just say uh, background color. This may be a bit simpler to understand. So I can use background color. I can save this and refresh. And we have here RGB 119 uh, three times. So of course, I have used inside the CSS, I've used the, uh, the hex color. So 77777. Um, but the browser instead likes to use the RGB value and that is the computed version of the hash 777777 okay so as you can see you're not going to get the exact value that you use in CSS as you get when you call the get computed style method alright so um, of course you can access things like width and font size and all that sort of thing um, but first I'm gonna go back inside here and show you what it looks like for the text. So uh, let's go down here and make a new constant. This will be const text CS, so, yeah, so the text computed styles. And we can pass text inside here. And now we'll go down here, we can say text CS dot font weight. Alright, I can save this and refresh, we get 700. Again, I have used the font weight of bold inside my CSS, but we're getting 700. That's because the computed version of bold is 700. Okay. Uh, same goes for the font size. Uh, let's change this to uh, font size down here. Save this and refresh. And yes, we're going to get 20 px right there. Of course, one em gets converted to 20 pixels from the parent element, and that's why you get 20 pixels. All right, cool. So now uh, let's take a look at the second argument um, that you can pass into the get computed style uh, method. All right, so let's go back inside here. And also just, um, I encourage you to, you know, have a play, use the get computed style method and just, you know, um, uh, have a play, uh, you know, choose different CSS values and see what you get as the output. And just get used to what type of values you're going to get when you call the get computed style method. All right, um, so let's take a look at the second argument for the get computed style method, and this is um, your opportunity to pass in a pseudo element. Okay, so uh, of course, an example of a pseudo element is going to be after. All right, so let's go upside here, and we can say hash box and say column, column, after. So um, for those of you who aren't familiar with pseudo elements, essentially these are just uh, ways you can insert CSS special elements um, and attach them to your um, your um, your selector or your HTML element. So after is basically going to create a CSS special element after your box. Okay, so let's go inside here and we can say content. And then decode, for example, let's float it to the right and have a background of blue. All right. So I can save this and refresh the page and we get this right here. Okay. So that's your decode right there. And um, of course, when you're looking at the get computed style method, um, uh, you can actually access this pseudo element by passing in to the second argument here, colon, colon, after. All right, so now I'll just make a new constant for this. Sorry, so I'll just go down here and call box CS after, 
and have this as the second argument colon colon after. So now I'm going to say box CS after dot and we can just say uh, let's use the background. So background color. All right. So now this computer style represents the element that was created from this CSS pseudo element. Okay. And now this background color should be blue. So I can save this and refresh the browser and we get here RGB 00255 instead of the gray from the um, from the background of the actual box. So that is the basics of the get computed style method. Um, one last thing that that may interest you um, this object that you actually get so you know things like box CS, box CS after, text CS, these objects that you get from the computer style method um, are actually live. This means if you were to um, basically it means that you get the object once and then it will update as you change your um, your style. So for example I'm just gonna go uh, here I'm gonna I'm gonna um, I'm gonna say uh, text CS I'm gonna log out the um, the font size of the text CS um, computed styles. If I can save this refresh. We obviously get 20 px right there. So now, um, when I say it's live, it means that if I was to change um, the font size of this text using something like inline styles, and then I call the font size property again from the computed styles, it'll change. So for example, if I say here and I override, I can say style and say font size as 40 px, press enter, obviously it changes right but now back in the console I can directly call textcs dot font size and it's going to be 40 so I didn't need to say get computed style twice in order to get my new updated font size it is live and it all works behind the scenes and that is the get computed style method in JavaScript thanks for watching and I will see you later